This is Raoul, Carl, Susanna, Maria, Christoph, Joanna, Eva, and Magnus. They are just eight of the 9,000 adults we recently surveyed from across the EU. We surveyed them because we were curious. We believe that people's privacy in the online world is important. We also believe that children have the right to be protected online. As a global network dedicated to ending the sexual exploitation of children, we believe in privacy and child protection online. But does the public agree? What do the voters and citizens of the European Union think? Are they aware of what their governments and the European Union are doing to protect children online? This is what we asked them. How much, if any, privacy do you think there is online? Do you think children can use the internet safely without being approached by adults who want to harm them? Is it important to enable online service providers to detect and report signs of sexual exploitation and abuse of children online? What do you think of a new law in the European Union that would oblige online service providers to use automated technological tools to detect, report and remove signs of online child sexual exploitation and abuse, such as illegal photos of children? This is what we found out. Nearly 7 out of 10 people feel that there is not much, if any, privacy online. 73% of adults believe children cannot go online without being approached by adults looking to harm them. 76% of respondents are willing to give up some of their personal privacy online to allow for automated technologies to detect images of child sexual abuse and exploitation and detect other signs of child sexual exploitation. 68% of respondents support plans by the European Union to introduce new legislation on the detection, removal and reporting of child sexual abuse material by online service providers. So, to summarise what we learned, many people believe they do not have privacy online. People believe children are not safe online. Using specialised tools to detect, remove and report photos and videos of children being abused is seen as equally or more important than people's personal privacy online. There is very strong support for new legislation in the EU that addresses this challenge. And what do you think? What can you do to help? Tell people about these issues. Share our findings. Write to your MEP. Make sure your voice is heard. Help us ensure that children are protected from sexual exploitation always and everywhere, including online. Join ECPAT in fighting for a digital world with privacy and safety for all children. We can and must have both. Let's make it happen.